Scrum. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about Scrum. So Scrum is an agile framework for managing product development. Scrum is lightweight, iterative and incremental approach for product development. And Scrum is simple to understand, but very difficult to master. And Scrum is a software development approach which implements the values and principles of the Agile Manifesto, right? So as discussed in uh, previous tutorials that we'll be discussing about Agile uh, development methodologies like uh, Extreme Programming, Scrum and Kanban and all these three Agile development methodologies or approaches are uh, uh, implement same uh, values and principles as defined in Agile Manifesto. So Scrum is another Agile framework which is built uh, using or which implements the values and principles of Agile Manifesto and it's an Agile framework for managing product development. So any uh, software development uh, can be done uh, using this Agile framework or Scrum. And Scrum is lightweight and it's um, iterative and incremental approach for product development. So it, 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 it uses iterative approach uh, to do the product development instead of Big Bang approach. Uh, it is very simple to understand, but uh, to master it's really difficult. So let's see what uh, Scrum talks about in detail. Now, some of the is Scrum instruments and practices are a sprint product increment, product backlog, sprint backlog, definition of done, time boxing, and transparency. Let's see these instruments and practices in detail. Now, what is a sprint in Scrum? So Scrum divides the project into iterations known as sprints. So as we have seen in the first slide that Scrum is iterative approach of software development. So sprint is uh, the iteration or uh, iterations in Scrum are known as sprints and uh, these iterations or sprints are time boxed iterations. So sprints are fixed length of two to four weeks and for the entire project duration. So sp sprint is the iteration uh, within the Scrum. So any iteration in Scrum is known as sprint, which is time box iteration or time box cycle of two to four weeks, depending on the agreement within the project. Now, what is product increment? So product increment or product development is done in increment. So rather than having the whole list of requirements uh, built at once in six months or one year, in Scrum product development happens uh, in increments in iterations which is um, which is sprints in scrum and then product development is done in increment so uh, after each sprint or increment uh, you have a shippable product that can be delivered to the market uh, the next thing is the product backlog so what product backlog is it's a list of items or the requirements that need to be delivered within the product within the project so for example you have a project of duration six months or one year what is the end goal of that project right so you there would be some um, end goal and based on that end goal you defined you define the product backlog and product backlog um, is basically the set of user stories uh, and epics that define the whole product backlog or the requirement for that whole product. So all that list of item for that whole product or project is known as product backlog. And product owner manages and prioritizes um, uh, the product backlog. Product backlog evolves from sprint to sprint. So it's not necessary to um, have the product backlog define and um, have it clarified uh, in in the first sprint itself so you have the high level stories in the product backlog but it evolves in sprint by sprint uh, when you get the stories in the sprint in the sprint planning and then elaborate those sprints uh, so that evolves 
the product backlog in each and every increment or sprint. Now, what is the sprint backlog? So sprint backlog is the backlog that you pick in the sprint or the iteration to build within that iteration. So the highest priority items to be delivered in the sprint are known as sprint backlog. So depending on what is the priority of the delivery for that whole project, highest priority items are picked first um, in the sprint to be delivered within that particular sprint or iteration. So iteration are known as sprint in Scrum. So um, sprint backlog is basically whatever items or stories you pick within that sprint to be delivered is known as sprint backlog. And the whole team is responsible in delivering all items in the sprint backlog. So whatever backlog items or uh, stories uh, or the requirements you pick in the sprint, uh, the whole team is responsible to deliver those uh, stories at the end of the sprint or iteration. Now the next important um, thing is definition of done. So definition of done is a checklist which defines the criteria of completion for the stories and sprint. It's basically saying entry and exit criteria in the old development methodologies in agile definition of done is the checklist which defines when a particular story is complete or when a particular sprint can be said to be complete. So you define the criteria or the checklist and when all the items in that checklist are fulfilled, you say the story has been done or the sprint has been done. We'll, we'll cover definition of done in much greater detail in further tutorials. Now definition of done can have a criteria like uh, no open defect for stories or acceptance criteria met for the story. So any story will have the acceptance criteria uh, defined by the business uh, analyst. So if all those acceptance criteria are met, then um, the story meets the definition of done. Or uh, say, for example, uh, your uh, definition of done says, no, there shouldn't be any open defects for the story until you can close it. So that's another def criteria for definition of done. Now, the next important thing in Scrum is time boxing. So Scrum applies time boxing to all variety of activities in Sprint. Now, time boxing is very important in Scrum and this is the key thing uh, in Scrum methodology that every activity in your Sprint, be it your Sprint or activity within the Sprint is time boxed. So meetings are time boxed and there is a daily stand-up meeting which shouldn't be more than 15 minutes and this stand-up meeting is to uh, talk about what everyone in the team is doing what they have done um, uh, yesterday what they are doing today and if there are any blockers so time boxing of all the activities within the sprint is another key aspect of scrum and sprints are time boxed to two to four weeks. So depending um, what approach you take. So there are uh, organizations which have a four week sprint uh, and there are organizations which have a, a sprint of two weeks or three weeks. So depending whichever, uh, whichever um, duration suits your project and your organization um, requirement, you can set that up, but you have to ensure that whatever you, um, whatever time boxing or sprint uh, duration you set for the first one that remains same for the whole duration of the project and uh, the next thing is the transparency so development team reports the work progress on daily basis and um, for that daily stand-ups are uh, daily stand-up meetings are organized which is 15 minutes stand-up and wherein everyone in the team talks about uh, what they have uh, what what the progress is and if there are any blockers for them then task boards are set up to show the team progress and showcase after each, each sprint to demonstrate the working software so um, transparency is very important in scrum development methodology wherein um, you have daily stand up you have showcase after each sprint and each member of the team is accountable or uh, takes responsibility and is transparent of the progress that he has made uh, within the uh, within the sprint. So these are um, 
some of the uh, key things around Scrum and what Scrum is. Thank you.